guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an introduction to a new project pan. And this is the graveyard project pan that I also did last year with a bunch of lovely ladies on Instagram and YouTube. And if you hear something in the background that is the rain on the window and Felix that apparently don't know what he wants and he's just crying. <laughs> We were supposed to pick 5 to 10 items in two categories in this project. There are Resurrection category and then there are the Collecting Cobwebs. So Resurrection is products that you have had in a project before but you didn't finish and Collecting Cobwebs are products from your collection that just need some love and you haven't used in a while and needs to be used up or expiring or something like that. So. I have chosen six products, so two from each category and it was actually pretty hard this time around because apparently I finished up the easy stuff and the oh, the the hard items I have left and yeah. Let's just get into the products but beforehand there is a master list and some playlists down below so you can watch all the other ladies in this collab, their videos you know. so. Let's just get into my products before I ramble on too much longer. Let's do the Resurrection. Resurrection. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but the Resurrection category. And again, I have three items here. The first one is from this palette. You might have seen this in my Pan and Everything project pan that I'm doing with um, a few ladies on YouTube and Instagram. And I have chosen the yellow banana highlight under eye setting shade whatever <laughs> and in the project I had planned on these two I have since finished this one but I haven't touched this under eye setting powder since I rolled it out from the project and here he is Felix welcome hi Sky can I open that So I am putting in this shade and I really want to finish it in this project and because we are entering spring mode and summer at this point it's not summery and yeah I'm probably going to mix the shade with something else until it is going to match me completely underneath the eyes but I really want to use it up in this project and I think I can because I have used quite a bit of the product and I have hit pan so they tend to go fast when you hit pan at least this one did so I have high hopes for this to be done in the end of October and I might end this late or early because I have a baby coming in the middle of October so that is going to be exciting to see when I can upload my finale. <laughs> yes, I have a due date on the 16th of October, so I don't know if I just had my baby when I'm going to update you guys on the finale, but yeah, exciting times, you know? Maybe I'm going to have a Halloween baby. You never know. <laughs> but yes, this is my first product. My second product is this MAC eyeshadow. I really want to work on this eyeshadow, but I'm also really scared if I can work on it if I get some use out of it because I am panning neutrals this year but at some point I need I need to use it you know so maybe I can use it as a brow powder maybe I can use it as a contour bronzer something like that eyeshadow as well this is the shade which 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 is a matte cool toned brown or mid tone maybe maybe it's a kind of natural brown but I really like it for my crease, uh, for neutral looks. And it has some hard pan, but I can just remove that easily. No problem there. It has the slightest dip. And I had it in a full face project pan, I think, a few years ago. And obviously, I didn't do anything about that since I ended the project. This definitely needs to hit pan or something like that in this project. So... I'm adding this one in, because I don't use it otherwise. Mm. 
The next item, I was actually a little bit unsure if I even had it in my lip service pro pen that I did in 2018. This is my Max Factor Color Elixir Giant Pen Stick in a Subtle Coral 20. This is, a, this is such an old product and that is also mainly why I want to use it up soon rather than later. It is kind of a lipstick pen but it's also a little bit sheer and kind of like a lip gloss but it's like a mixture of a lip gloss and a lipstick it's really weird but it's also really really nice on the lips you have to sharpen it with a sharpener though which is kind of annoying because when it gets to the edge it scratches your lips and you ne definitely need to sharpen it then but yes, I will mark this on my piece of paper as well as the next product because it is in the same line but in another category. The collecting cobwebs, I have three items as well as I said. So the other pen stick I have for Max Factor is called Passionate Red. So this is just a red shade. It's a really really beautiful red and I really really love it. But again, I don't use it enough because you have to sharpen it and I'm just working on other things and that needs to stop and I need to get more use out of these pen sticks because they're really amazing and I don't want them to go bad and so far I don't think they have gone bad. If you compare the coal and the red one, I have definitely, definitely used more of the coal one. Have I sharpened the red? I actually don't think I have sharpened the red before. So yes, I'm going to sh mark these for next update so you for sure can see where I am. The next lip product, because I apparently am not panning enough lip products, but I really wanted to work on some liquid lipsticks because I never do. I only work on my glasses and my bullet lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks in my collection are definitely going to be neglected. So I really want to work on some of the NYX Lingerie liquid lipsticks. This is in Ruffle Trim and it is one of my favorite shades and I actually have two of them. I accidentally bought another one. But it is a beautiful shade and I love it for every day so I really want to get some more use out of it. And hopefully it's not too dark. <laughs> but yes, yeah, this is burnt basically brand new you can't see any progress but i really want to see if i can make some nice progress on this maybe even just to have a window or something like that in this i don't know what my goal will be for these pen sticks but no matter what i need to use these items more the last item i have here is losing color and that was a red alarm for me because that is not a good thing Never a good thing. This is the NYX Lingerie item in Whimsy. I'm pretty sure I had it in my roulette pan collab at some point. Um, just for 10 uses. But I am using the gold one that I have right now. And it is really lovely. I really love it. But I thought this pink shade was going to match my franken shades in my panda palette really nicely i have one of them on today so i thought this was going to be a nice base and it if it's even separating losing color whatever it is as you can see here in the top then it will be a good base for everything if i don't want to have a gold base at least you can scrape around and create like windows in the product so that is not going to be my goal my goal is to go into use this up and I don't know if I can but I will at least try. So those are my six products. I'm pretty excited to work on them and see how I'm going to do. Please root for me. Please pray for me. Yeah. I just really wanted to do this project um, because I did it last year and I really really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I think it's kind of funny that it is ending around my due date so let's see how I'm going to do that. Please take out the other ladies down below. I have cat hair everywhere. I'm sorry. So yes, please take out the other ladies down below and the videos and everything like that. Please join if you want to. You're more than welcome and just let us know in the comments. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care. Bye.